response from them. Back to you. Thanks a lot for that, Abhishek. Well, Bajaj Auto, that was one of the big nifty gainers today after bullish commentary propped up the stock. Both J.B. Morgan and Motilal Oswal, well, they had aggressive uh, targets on the stock as they believe the scale-up of the company's electric vehicle businesses could uh, hold them in good stead. Sonia is tracking that. She joins us to fill us in with more details. Sonia? Thanks a lot for that. As you rightly pointed out, brokerages are very bullish on the scale-up of the electric vehicle business for Bajaj Auto, a couple of new launches as well. And uh, they also talk about how the worst of the export of uh, you know, weakness may be behind them. So first, let me tell you about JP Morgan. They have an overweight with a target price of 4400 on the stock. They talk about how the stock could re-rate in 2023 because of the aggression that Bajaj Auto is showing both in two-wheeler and three-wheeler electric vehicles. Now, in the two-wheeler electric vehicle space, they're looking to ramp up the Chetak uh, volumes to 10,000 monthly run rate compared to about uh, three to 4,000 currently. On the three-wheeler space, there's a launch of an electric vehicle three-wheeler coming up in April. It has been delayed up until now, but now there's more clarity that the launch could come through in April itself. Exports are likely to bottom out and the domestic two-wheeler recovery has also begun. JP Morgan also talks about how um, the risk-reward is in favour of investors because the valuations look quite... Um, attractive at the moment. The stock is trading at 13.4 times FY25 earnings, which is at a discount to its historic multiples. Uh, Motilal Oswar also put out a note where they met the management and they talk about the EV scale-up as well. Uh, they say that over the next few months, the company is making its entry into the Brazilian market and the upcoming Triumph launch will also be a big growth driver for them. Now, the Brazil motorcycle market is one-third of the Indian motorcycle market in terms of revenues and the the upcoming product launch in the cruiser segment from its alliance with Triumph will plug the gap in its pro product portfolio. Also, they have an aim to reach 17 to 18% market share in the Brazilian market itself. So all of these are triggers, are positive triggers for the company and that's why the stock is the biggest nifty gainer today.